Hello, and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a coding environment for C++ on the Mac. The first thing you will want to do is navigate to code.visualstudio.com, and you will want to download the Mac version of Visual Studio Code. It will either say Download Mac Universal right here in this big button, or you can click this drop-down arrow and pick your proper download from the list below. When you click it, you will see that you get a download that starts, let it download, and when it is finished downloading, you will have a zip file in your downloads folder. Open that zip file and you will get a Visual Studio Code. You can then drag and drop this Visual Studio Code into your Applications folder on the side. I will not do this because I already have it downloaded. The next thing you will need is a compiler to compile your code into machine code. Open your launch pad, go to the search bar, type terminal, and you will have a program called Terminal. Open that program and it will look something like like this. I've zoomed into mine, so mine is now a little bit bigger, and I will just type Xcode dash select space dash dash install, hit enter on my keyboard. It will pop this up and I will click install, agree, and allow this software to install. This may take a few minutes to download and install, so I will be back with you in just a few minutes. Once the software is finished downloading and installing, you will get a message that looks like this. And you can click done and you can verify the download and install worked by typing GCC space dash dash version. Hitting enter, waiting a few seconds, and then you should get something that looks like this. Your exact message may vary, but if you get something that looks like this, then you have successfully downloaded the Xcode select command line tools. Now that we have downloaded Visual Studio Code and our compiler, we can combine these two together with a program and compile and run that program on our computer. We can go to the launch pad and search for Visual Studio Code right here. We can open that up. When you open Visual Studio Code, you will be presented with something like this. You can just close out of the release notes. And well, here you go. If you click on this top button on the left-hand sidebar, you will open up a file explorer. If we click on the open folder button, it will open up all the folders on our computer. And then we could open something like our desktop into our Visual Studio Code. And you see, I now have my desktop opened and my two directories from over here are in my Visual Studio Code. Let us create a new C++ program by clicking the new file button and then naming our program whatever we want and giving it the extension .cpp. You will notice when I hit enter that I get a main.cpp created on my desktop over here. That is because any edits I do over here in the Explorer are edits that I am doing on the directory I've opened. We will then be presented with a text editor to edit our program. If I add some code to this program and save it, go up to the terminal, open new terminal, you will see I get a terminal at the bottom of my Visual Studio Code. This terminal is the same terminal as we were using earlier, just integrated into Visual Studio Code. And if you notice, I am at the desktop. My terminal will be at whatever folder I have opened over here in the Explorer. And now I can just type G++, the name of the program that I want to compile, hit enter, it will compile that program. When I compile, you will notice, just like with our main.cpp, I will get a new file that is created. This is a.out, and a.out is the machine code that can be run on my computer. This gets created because anything I do over here in the terminal, like anything I do in my Explorer or in my text editor, is a change that I'm making on the directory that I have opened. And then I can run that program right down here using dot slash a dot out. One final thing you may want to do is you may want this coloring for your C++. To add that, just go over to extensions and type C++ in this bar. Click on the C slash C++ option from Microsoft. It will look like this. And instead of having an uninstall button here, you will have an install button. Click that button, allow it to install, and you will have all of this wonderful coloring. And when you type in here, you will get C++ IntelliSense that will help you out while you are programming. And that is how you set up a programming environment for C++ on the Mac. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.